Hey guys! So I'm remaking my juicing video and I'm just going to show you what I have here. Um, cucumbers, zucchini that I've cut into spears. I've also got a turnip from my garden. See how huge that is? I've cut it into pieces. This is what it looks like. Um, I've got an apple that I have cut up into pieces and an avocado which I'm going to eat alongside the juice mainly because it's a source of fat so that I can absorb the lipid soluble vitamins like A and E from the leafy greens like kale and I also have parsley Swiss chard and turnip greens from my garden whatever I was able to muster uh, some sauerkraut I know this is gonna be kinda weird the sauerkraut turned out really well by the way I'm adding that because of the enzymes and also because of the good microflora that it's basically going to act like an inoculant and inoculate my digestive system with beneficial bacteria. I also have some ginger and I'm adding some raw honey to the mixture with some apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon of each. So one thing to remember is to wash your greens because um, they can have parasites on them and things like that. You can put them in a sink full of water, vinegar, um, food grade hydrogen peroxide or sal suds which is what I use. These are my sprouts. They're no longer sprouts if you can tell they're growing into wheatgrass. So this is day three. Um, I would have, if I wanted to use them in bread I would have used them yesterday. So, day two of the sprouting process. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of the juicing process that I do here. I don't think you can hardly see it. Oh, by the way, this has a strainer on top if you don't want the fiber, but I prefer to do the fiber because it is healthy and it increases my digestive health so I include the fiber. Um, you do this because you want to get living food, you want to get enzymes, you want to get vitamins, and you want to have the benefits of eating raw, although you don't have to go and, and chew everything up and cook it and you don't lose anything in the process. So I'll just quickly show you what's happening. Can you see the juice coming out? Okay, I'll take a break, juice everything, and then show you what's going on. Hey guys, so I'm back. As you can see, I have juiced all this stuff. I have a feeling this is going to be spicy because I included um, some turnip greens and also the actual turnip root. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I do like to add some sort of lemon or lime and um, let me see a couple of things I wanted to talk about is I did have some comments about the apple seeds in my last video and um, I include the apple seeds because I've done some research on vitamin B17 not a lot of people have heard of it but it is um, an alternative therapy for cancer treatment it has a compound in it that reacts with enzymes found in cancer cells and essentially kills the cancer cells um, so I do eat those and you'll recognize this compound it's in a lot of different fruit seeds like apricots nectarines peaches apples you name it um, it tastes like amaretto it's actually really good especially with the flesh of the fruit that you're eating um, so some other things that I would like to discuss with you is making sure that uh, you can actually you know what stop so what I was saying is you want to make sure that you can drink this fresh because it will oxidize quickly which means it'll go bad and you're not gonna get the benefits of having it be a live raw food you want to eat it or you want to drink it with some source of omega fatty acids or essential fatty acids, cod liver oil, coconut oil, flaxseed oil, any of those will work. Um, all 
also, if you are feeling sick or you have some issues with your health, you can definitely employ the use of herbs. I can include thyme, oregano. Oregano is a great antiparasitic. Um, it will impart the flavor of the herb, so you do have to be considering that. Um, as well as you can add garlic. I added ginger today because I've got some stuff going on with my sinuses. You can add garlic, although that's for the more brave people who are not afraid to have garlic breath all day. So let's go ahead and give it a try. You can definitely taste the turnips. By the way, this is an awesome vegetable to grow during the winter. As winter progresses, it actually builds up sugar in the root, and so it's a really good source for calories. It's a great calorie crop. This is what it looks like. It's pretty massive. So what I'm going to do is cut this into slices, and then I'm going to lacto-ferment it. So I'm going to have turnip pickles, which is going to be pretty nifty. By including the raw honey and the apple cider vinegar, I'm pre-digesting some of the um, compounds in the leafy greens that are hard on your body, like oxalic acid, goitrogens that are in the brassica family, which are kale, collards, broccoli, cauliflower, etc. Any of those cabbage-related plants, turnips included, they do have those compounds which can contribute to thyroid problems and also to issues with um, your gallbladder, gallstones. Let's see, uh, if you're going to do peppers and you have arthritis or you have problems with your joints, you might not want to include peppers and that would go with uh, for cayenne pepper as well. You don't want to include that if you've got arthritis or things of that nature. But I do have to say that the beneficial aspects of these foods tend to offset some of the detrimental effects of the um, compounds that I'm, I was just referring to because this does have anti-cancer properties. It is live. It does provide your body with enzymes. So if you were to include even one glass like this in your diet a day, I imagine that you would notice tremendous benefits and you'd notice a difference in the way that you're feeling, your energy, your energy levels. It's also great for detoxifying your body because with the standard American diet, we have just a ton of crap in our food that was never meant to be there. So that's essentially everything with my juicing video. Just really quickly, I want to show you how easy this thing is to clean. If you guys aren't interested in seeing, like, a lot of people have been asking me about this product. So I'll just show you. The other juicers, the centrifugal juicers, they're a lot harder to clean. So this is just totally easy. Stick it in the sink, wash it off, and you're pretty much good to go. Very simple, very easy to put together, very easy to take apart. I love it. It's called the Lexin Manual Health Juicer. And that's about all today, what I got for you, the juicing and everything. I did remake this video for obvious reasons, those of you who saw the other video. Anyways, thanks for watching again, and I'm glad to be of assistance. Bye.